Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another shoot them up uh, video game tutorial. Uh, so at the end of last lesson, you would have got up to this stage here with your game where we had some enemies running down the screen and if you press the space bar you can shoot the um, missiles to get rid of them and uh, oh that was close and uh, other than that we haven't programmed much else um, we're gonna just fix one little mistake at a time well one little bug at a time and you can see the first thing is uh, my ship my spaceship moves off the screen so when you press the left arrow key it keeps going left and when you press the right arrow key it keeps going right and another thing that you can see is um, some of the sh uh, enemy ships they can possibly move off the screen like this one on the left um, when, once they move off the screen it's very hard for me to know that it's there and obviously another mistake which we're gonna fix eventually is um, once we kill an enemy what happens to them right if if they all disappear then you know the game doesn't progress any further so what happens from now nothing so we're gonna we're gonna fix all of these one at a time the first one we're gonna fix is the boundary mistake so I'm gonna make it so that when the enemies approach the boundary they'll bounce back and I'm also gonna make it so that my ship can't move off the boundary so let's fix the enemies first and you can see that we have a timer that controls the enemies movement enemy timer and whenever it ticks we execute this code and uh, here is the for loop saying that the enemy is going to move downwards um, every time the timer ticks and uh, we also move it left and right depending on the random number so one more thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to say that if the enemy if the enemy, uh, if the enemy's uh, x, x position is smaller than, let's say, uh, five, uh, then we're gonna move it to the right. Then enemy array at the i position. Uh, we're gonna move it to the right by uh, let's say 10 and let's see what happens here when we run the program the enemy on the left this enemy here is very is, is not gonna get off the screen anymore because whenever it approaches a screen I move it back out All right let's have a look at the last enemy on the right I'm also going to specify a similar condition saying that if the enemy is bigger if, if the x coordinates of the enemy is bigger than the width of the screen minus let's say 40 then we're gonna move it to the left so that's saying that um, if the enemy on the right gets close to the screen boundary we move it back to the left okay so now the enemy is not gonna move out of bounds and uh, actually I'm gonna start commenting now so if the enemy moves off the boundary move them back in and uh, so I'm gonna say if the random the number the random number generated the decides whether the enemy moves left or right or stays in the same x position. 
right. and this top line is saying that the enemy m moves towards the bottom of the screen at an increment of five units each time the timer ticks so basically you want to make sure that your program is well commented otherwise uh, you're not going to remember anything about your program um, so what I want to do now is uh, fix the bug where my ship can get off the screen All right so back at the top where I said um, when I uh, move move my um, when I press the right hand when I press the right key move right becomes uh, true and when I press the left key the move left becomes true alright so I'm just gonna add another condition so uh, I'm going to add another condition saying that and the the uh, ship the ship's left position the ship's x position is smaller than the width of the screen minus let's say uh, 30 and uh, so it's got to satisfy both of these conditions then we're gonna make the move right variable true so let's see what let's see what happens when we go to the right you can see oh it's still going off the boundary um, hang on a second I'm going to take this away and I'm going to put it in the timer. So if the move right variable is true and and the ship ship's left coordinate is smaller than the width minus 30. Let's see what happens now. See the ship kind of gets stuck here. Um, I'm just gonna make it a bit more minus 40 and uh, you can see that the ship doesn't move beyond beyond the boundary so uh, I'm gonna do the same with the left hand side so the ships left coordinate is uh, bigger than um, let's say uh, uh, ne negative 10 so if you hang on forgot to type and in the coding so I run this moves to the left doesn't go any further than that Alright, um, so it doesn't move to the right any further, doesn't move to the left any further, so we fix the bug. And what do we want to do when the enemy dies? Alright, because then we need something else to shoot at. We don't want the game to finish right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the enemy back up to the top. So here I've got the collision. So just gonna start adding in comments now um, check for collision between enemy and missiles enemies and missiles the for loop checks for collision between enemies and missiles and uh, so if there is collision if there is collision we're gonna move the missile back to the top 
with a random X coordinate. So uh, we're not going to change the visibility anymore. So we're going to move the top coordinate back to zero and we're going to move the left coordinate as a random position. So remember the random number generator generates a number between zero and one. And if we times it by the width of the screen, that's going to generate a random number between zero and the width of the screen. And we're going to convert this to an integer, otherwise it'll give us a decimal number which we don't need, right? because the left coordinate probably has to be a whole number. So let's see what happens. So I um, shoot a red object, an enemy object. Wow, it's a hard game. So, oops, not doing anything. And for the very simple reason that I used the wrong symbol here. I've got J here in the for loop, and I've got I here inside the for loop. So I'm just gonna make it J um, oh what have I done when the missile when the missile in the ith the ith element in the missile array collides with the jth element in the enemy array then the enemy the enemy is going to move back not the missile I'm getting myself confused here the enemy is going to move to the top so let's try that again so I hit the missile hit the missile the enemy goes back up to the top and so now the game is never ending, right? Because as soon as you kill an enemy, it goes back up to the top and starts falling down again. So we have now a never ending game. And uh, okay, this tutorial is going to conclude here. Hope you guys uh, learned a little bit from this. See you next time.